Okay, so uh, welcome to whatever this is. And today I'm going to be doing your uh, average consumer uh, tech upgrade to my network here. And uh, here's what we got. And I, I don't really know anything about it, so we're going to learn. We got a uh, Wi-Fi range extender to uh, help cover the uh, square footage of this area. And now we got a... Uh, Wow, that is not on there very well. We've got a new router, a uh, ASUS. <laughs> Looks like you can have a NAS on it, which is pretty cool. Yep, no, literally know nothing about these. These were just sent over, and now I'm gonna try to install them and see how it goes. Now, uh, we got the AT&T U-verse set up, so the modem and the router are connected in one, so I'm not really sure how we're gonna do this yet. So we'll figure it out, and um, I probably know this exact same amount as uh, most of you watching this, unless you're uh, into networking or going into networking, IT work, which probably some of you guys are, but most of the average viewer isn't, and they're just kind of uh, enthusiasts like me, so we're going to see if we can make this work. <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, I also got, uh, where is it at? Ooh, oh, some power line adapters to uh, send around for stuff that needs to be wired in. <laughs> so, guys, we have got excellent news. So, since we have AT&T U-verse here, and they require the gateway, the modem, and router built into one box, they don't allow you to use your own equipment. <sighs> but, we are gonna work around that. I don't know how yet, but that's okay. Cause, that's what life's about, man. Getting around the situation peacefully. We might, I might just switch ISPs. I don't really know yet. <laughs> so here's the game plan. So this is our current modem slash router from at and It's called like the gateway or something. It has an all in one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run this guy from the wall, DSL. So we're gonna be using phone. Uh, RJ25, I believe. I'm not really sure what that input is. So we're going to be using phone, though. And it's going to be going into this. And then we're going to be running an Ethernet port, or Ethernet cord, from the out here to the in here. We're going to go into our um, IP router setting things from the computer. We're going to disable Wi-Fi from this one, so it's just acting as a modem, no router. And then the output to here should allow this thing to act as our main router. And then we'll use this guy, we'll hook this guy up to here and put this on the other side of the house. So this wall actually is, an, is a far outside wall. So this is kind of pointless having this over here, but like there's like a deck and like a driveway and like a hangout area on that side of the wall. And it's a brick wall. So I guess this signal will be good for over there. And then this will take care of the rest of the house. And then we still have the power line adapter for anywhere that needs better connection i guess so let's see what we got here let's do it and i'm not sure how important this is but for anyone who's out there uh following this as a guide you got to have one of these things this plugs into the uh, phone wall jack and turns it into a dsl line focus all right it's not going to focus but it, uh the green thing says dsl trust me and then that's a phone one if anyone actually has a house phone we don't have a house phone but you need this to go from the wall, and then this goes from DSL, and that goes into the DSL port on your modem, and then to your router, and see how it works. And now, of course, our uh, phone jacks on the whole other side of the room. I don't know why that's like that. And actually, this is a really nice printer. Um, it's wireless, something I really like. <laughs> Since I'm talking about networking here. So yeah. Gotta make this long run, and this isn't gonna be long enough, so we'll be stretching cords all over the floor until I uh, get a better solution here. Okay, so since this is can only go this far, it won't actually reach my PC through a wired connection. So we're using the power line, power line to power line to the PC, and now I understand that this is not how you're supposed to use a power line adapter. You're not supposed to go through an extension cord. Act, this is really funny. So, it goes from this extension cord into this power extension splitter thing, which has that plugged into it. 
I mean, I mean, these are, wow, that's actually really weird. So that's like basically plugged into that. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. Oh, and now the router's kicking up and that's kicking up and that's kicking up and we should have, be having internet. We're going to go to the uh, settings, disable the Wi-Fi on that bad boy. <laughs> Hook up that router. So that one becomes just a modem. That becomes a new router and then we got the extender, hopefully. So we got the Wi-Fi disabled on that one. This one's now producing a Wi-Fi signal, but I haven't done anything to it yet. We're going to connect that router through its like fancy dancy IP address and stuff through this laptop so that it's on the same signal since this computer is connected through that thing hardwired. So we're going to connect that wirelessly to that and configure it and whatnot. And um, this like still plays Spotify and it's using Wi-Fi, but it's not connected, so I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> okay, so we got this thing working. It's actually really cool. The the graphical interface and whatever from the web server, whatever, is actually really neat. You can do a lot of cool stuff with it. This one is acting as just a modem. I turned the wireless off. I didn't put it in bridge mode or anything. It literally just disabled the wireless, and here it is. So all our wireless is going through this. It has 5 gig and 2.4 gigahertz bands which is kind of cool i was getting around um 500 connection speed from just my phone just a quick test which is pretty sweet i mean that's not that's clearly not my internet speed it's insane but you know transfer speeds i guess i actually might consider hooking up like a nas or something through the uh usb ports on the back and we got internet coming up through this one actually this one's internet's running through the modem now type dealio through this and now all we gotta do next is get that set up and clean this whole mess up a little bit. <laughs> and now I sleep on that couch and I can hear a like humming or hiss coming from that box. And I, and I, I so I don't know if I'm going to actually leave it in this room. I might put it in like a closet over there or a different room because that hiss, the no go. <laughs> I like, I like it quiet. So who knows? If it, I'll leave it in here for a few nights, and if it's really bothering me, it's I'll just have to move it. So, and now it's time to bust into this guy and see if it works at all. <laughs> so far, it's going up pretty good. So, that thing comes with an, an app. <laughs> it's available for Windows and Android. Not iPhone, but Windows Phone. Like, are you serious right now? Not iPhone, but Windows Phone? I don't actually, it doesn't say phone, it just says Windows. It might just be for, like, the computer. But, for computer OS, but still. Not iOS, are you kidding me? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it looked like a cool app, I would've got it, but I have an iPhone. Oh, yeah, Windows PC. Still. Still upsetting. So, at this point, we're all set up, it's all working. That has internet, that has internet, everything has internet. So we're actually outputting four Wi-Fi signals. Two from this guy, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz. So really one signal, but you know, you know what's going on, dual band signal. And then over here, we got a um, two more signals, 2.5, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And this guy's not gonna stay here, obviously. We're gonna move it elsewhere. But, so that one's outputting its signals. And now I don't know, if I can do the uh, seamless um, transfer where if I were to walk all the way across the house or property and switch from that router to that bridge and if it actually transfer over or if I had to go to my settings and switch it. I'm not really sure how well that would work, but they're actually, so they're named the same thing, same password, all that jazz. 5 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz. This thing is now strictly just a modem. But I still could turn the Wi-Fi on. And I would wonder if I could use that as like a fancy guest network. I know you can do a guest network with that. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just we're, here, we're literally here just playing around. Just see how it works. So my next update will probably be uh, that thing placed in a better spot. And maybe this cleaned up a little bit. But more than likely this won't be cleaned up. <laughs> so it's actually really late. And you know that point where you start getting tired. You start like running into stuff and it hurts really bad. Like when you stub your toe, yeah, that's, I'm at that point. <laughs> so, it's good, everything works. So good. 
So the ASUS router, I was digging through the box because I don't throw any of the networking crap away in case I break something. The ASUS router came with a $100 gift card to NakedWines.com. You have to spend 160 bucks and then you get $100 off, but I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> I guess, um, you know, ASUS gaming and uh, cheese and wine. <laughs> I do like cheese, I'll, I'll give them that. And here's where we'll put the extender. You got two green lights, so we got power, and it means, oh, never mind. <laughs> so that means the signal is weak, because I'm standing right in front of it. But when it's green, it means it's a 70% or above. And we're using the pass through the Wi Fi extender, so it's going to reach this half of the house quite well. And then we also are using the Ethernet out for our movie box, which is legit. Okay, so I'm currently in the midst of editing this video, and it's literally weeks later, and I haven't cleaned any of this up. Anywho, so I just want to give a little quick rundown of what this actually does. We're not going to talk about the extender, but I didn't really explain this very well. These are so I can clean up that phone wire. But anyway, so our internet comes in from the phone jack through a DSL line into this guy. This guy is not outputting Wi-Fi. It's only making, it's only a modem. So it takes an ethernet and comes into this guy. This guy is our complete Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi only. This power line adapter is not necessary. It goes, it goes back to this guy. It is not necessary. This power line adapter is strictly delivering internet to that computer because I don't have a long enough ethernet cord right now. So how I want to demonstrate this is we're going to have one ethernet cord coming out of this guy, going into this guy, and then we're going to then use these four ethernet cords to go to my computer game consoles and whatever these guys are not going to be used so just a quick really reiteration modem router not being used thank you i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you have a great uh time with your networking experiences i literally didn't know what i was doing and i still really don't so you know what, guys, just jump into it, and I'm sure you're going to have a great time, to be honest.